Home and car and audio equipment maker Harman is looking to expand in China. Harman's now planning to build its third plant there to triple its business. Tracy Tandon spoke to the CEO, Dinesh Paliwa, about his plans. I would expect China to become one of our top three, if not top two, market in five years. And then definitely in seven to eight years, China would be a largest market. And I back it up by saying China would sell 25 million cars in 2015, 33 million cars in 2020. That would be almost Europe and U.S. current volume together. So the pace they have, so that would drive our sales. And 1.3 billion people with the way the wealth creation is happening in China and the appetite for iconic branded products, whether they are fashion, luxury, or audio, I think is a huge potential. So I, I can all, I've said humorously, I won't see as a surprising move if Harman decides five years from now to move the headquarter to Shanghai. What are some of the other emerging markets across the world that are significant players for Harman? Brazil, to a lot of people's surprise, has been a great country for us. Uh, they're investing heavily in infrastructure. This is where we play. They are the fifth largest car consumer country in the world. And uh, a lot of people are starting to realize to be successful and sell more, you have to move in China, in Brazil. So we bought a company in Brazil just to establish our local footprint. And uh, we have seen explosive growth. We've grown 40, 45% year over year, three years in a row. And we have recently announced that we won eight of the FIFA World Cup stadiums out of a total of 12. That's 60 plus percent uh, hit rate for us. Like every developing economy around the world, China has its own set of problems. What do you identify uh, as some of the roadblocks in China? Typical constraints are getting approvals and licenses to open R&D centers, to open even a full-blown P&L center services company. Uh, it can also be difficult to protect the intellectual property. That has been an extremely well-talked about topic. And a uh, very critical point right now, in my view, for every company is facing is attracting the talent and retaining them. It's even harder. Places like Shanghai, Beijing, 25, 30% attrition. Imagine you just keep training people and they keep turning over. So that doesn't help. What is the one country that you'd like to expand into which you haven't really uh, tapped as yet? One country which I would say absolutely is ready for us to go is Indonesia. More than 200 million people, a lot of wealth, surrounded by rich neighbors. Uh, in the next two to three years, we'll actually deploy our capital and our people and invest in that market.